If you were to travel on the surface of an ellipsoid, the average number of revolutions it would take to return to the same spot would depend on the shape of the ellipsoid. Ellipsoids can have different lengths and curvatures, so the number of revolutions needed would vary. To better understand, let's imagine you start at a specific point on the surface of the ellipsoid and travel in a random direction. As you move along, the curvatures of the surface will influence your path. Depending on the shape, it is unlikely that traveling in a straight line would bring you back to your starting point. However, since the ellipsoid is a closed surface, you would eventually loop back to your original position after traveling for some distance. The number of revolutions required to reach that point would depend on factors such as the size and shape of the ellipsoid, as well as the direction you initially chose. To sum up, the average number of revolutions it would take to return to the same spot on an ellipsoid cannot be easily determined without specific details about the ellipsoid's dimensions and your starting direction.